hello guys in this video i am going to show you how you can locally install this fabulous large language model genstruct 7 billion the reason why i'm saying that it is fabulous because it helps you in generating synthetic data set in very simple words at a very high level you provided a title and a text a free flowing text and then it creates synthetic data sets just on the basis of that text how cool is that genstruct 7 billion is an instruction generation model designed to create valid instructions given a raw text corpus this enables the creation of new partially synthetic instruction fine tuning data sets for from any raw text corpus in this video i am going to show you how you can get it locally installed and then we will generate some of the instructions from some of the raw text corpus this model is based on this research ada instruct previous methods largely relied on in context approaches to generate instructions while ada instruct trained a custom instruction generation model the, and the researchers of this genstruct 7 billion were inspired by this approach and then they took it further by grounding the generations in user provided context passages also the model is trained to generate questions involving complex scenarios that require detailed reasoning allowing for models trained on the generated data to reason step by step the more i think about it the more really it blows away my mind i have done various videos on different open source closed source tools which generate synthetic data set from a raw corpus of text you have to do a lot of massaging lot of stuff with it now just imagine you are a legal firm and you have huge corpus of legal text just locked down in your uh, mainframe or whatever computers you have but it's raw text you want to fine tune or even use this data in uh, your rag now instead of opting for some tooling all you need to do is to use this model genstruct 7 billion and then create a synthetic data set create a pipeline where automatically this data set will be used to fine tune another model or could be just ingested into a raw vector store or a vector database and from there you can do the retrieval augmented generation which primarily enables uh, any llm to get more information from your private data so the as i'm saying the possibilities are limitless and i could go on and on but anyway i will stop myself here and let me log into my local system where i will show you how you can get it installed i'll be using ubuntu 22.04 with code name jammy i have one gp of 16 gp vram and i have 32 gp of memory so make sure that at least you have that much uh, things so in order to run this it's a 7 billion parameter model but still it needs that much okay let me clear my screen if you already don't have it install transformers library by doing pip install transformers upgrade i already have it so i'm not going to do it again let me launch my python interpreter and here let me import my uh, auto model for causal and tokenizer which i'll be using that is done let me specify the model again genstruct 7 billion that is done let me download the model first in 8 bit there you go and it is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait for it to load thankfully my download speed is good and i have three tensors to download so let's wait for it to finish and you can see that i have already specified devices cuda because i have one gpu so let's wait for these to load okay my second shot is a bit slow hopefully this will pick up the speed all the shards are done and now let's download our tokenizer that should be quick that shouldn't take too long that is done and now let's give it a title and a text uh, so that it will be able to generate the synthetic data set so you can see what we have done here is we are we have given a title machine learning and content so i have just given like machine definition of what machine learning is machine learning is a subset of ai that provides system the ability to automatically read this 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 so i've just kept it short just to make sure that i could show you press enter now let's send it 
as an input to the tokenizer. So this is my tokenizer that is done. Now let's generate the output with the help of model. And we will also decode it. So model is generating. Let's wait for it to come back. It not take too long. Model has returned the response. If I scroll up, so this is where I asked it to print. So there you go. Now it has printed this. The title is this. This is the content I gave. And now it is telling us that this, the following is an interaction between a user and an AI assistant. Assistant means LLM that is related to above text. This is a user and then this is assistant. And then if you scroll down, it goes on and on and on. And because I have um, curtailed the output, so it has just stopped there. And of course, the bigger your uh, text will be, the more question and answer or the conversation between assistant and user will be there. But you can see how cool is that. Now, just imagine there are a lot of conversations and interactions like this for your data set. You just create a file of that data set and you can use it easily for your fine tuning and for your pre your training even. Or even you can put it in your rag. The use cases are limitless. And whatever your field is. Now, let me first clear the screen. Let me clear the screen. I just pasted the wrong thing. This is, there you go. Now let me give it a, some title related to legal domain. Now in this example, I am just giving it a legal title, intellectual property law. And then I have given it a bit of a, uh, I just double posted it. Sorry about that. So I just gave it also this, some of the introduction as what exactly that is. Now let me send it to my tokenizer. That is done. And now let's send this input to model to generate the output around the legal domain. Let's wait for it to come back. Because it generates a data set, so it takes a bit of a time on even locally. And of course, if you would have a more powerful GPU, the speed will be faster. There you go. And you can see that, again, it's an interaction between user and AI assistant. And then it is the user response. David is a lawyer, works for a software company, blah, blah, blah. And then there should be an assistant response. How cool is that? Okay, let me clear my screen. And then we will now see a medical example. Now in this one, I'm just, the title is type two diabetes and then some of the content around diabetes. Let me send it to tokenizer and then print the response. Let's wait for it to come back. There you go. This time it has generated the data set for type two diabetes. And then it is telling us that this is the interaction between a user and an AI assistant that is related to above text. That David has been feeling tired and hungry and all that stuff. Then assistant has responded below that monitoring of glucose level is indeed a common treatment for type 2 diabetes. So this is assistant response and this is a user's response. And you can see that how cool this interaction is. Now let me clear my screen. Let's look at another final example. This is around mining. So maybe it's a mining domain you want a data set for. I am just giving it sustainable mining practices. Let me send it to tokenizer and model. Let's wait for them to come back. So the crux of the matter here is that no matter what the domain is, if you want to fine tune a model on that domain, or you want to do a rag on that domain, uh, along with your own data, then simply you can use this model to generate a synthetic data set, which will be quite realistic from a huge corpus of data you can provide your own. And then this is going to give you a pre-made, very high quality data set, which you can use for a lot of purposes. Because as I have said before that having a large language model is cool, AI is awesome, but if you don't have high quality data set, then it really doesn't serve the purpose. So having a high quality data set for your large language model, whether it is for training or fine tuning is uh, paramount. There you go. So you can see that now it is saying this is a following interaction between user and AI assistant, Burma and Canada, two countries rich in minerals. And then in the case of Burma and Canada, and then it is goes on and on to the assistant response. How cool is that? 
It's a beautiful model. I would say really, really impressed by it. I will drop the link to his Hugging Face card in the video description. Please check it out. If you like the content, then please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please do a special favor and share this among your network as that helps a lot. Thanks for watching.